Let's go ahead and talk about a resin here and the safety. So make sure you wear some gloves if you're going to handle resin. And also you might want to wear a face mask for breathing. And also it's quite important that you use your resin printer in a well ventilated area as you don't want to breathe the stuff in, which is a pretty high odor. Today we're going to be using water washables. I love using these as it's a little simpler to clean and the odor seems to be less, but it's not dramatically less. So yeah, take full precautions. So you want to mix up your bottle pretty well if it's new or used and let's go ahead and pour some resin in here so this is a pretty large tub you want to make sure you get enough resin so I'm gonna fill it up a good amount but not all the way to the max line obviously as that will require a lot more and it looks like if you have a full bottle it will or should get close to the max line so we'll just start with this I do have some bubbles in there shake it up probably a little more violently than I needed to but it was sitting around for a bit so I wanted to make sure it's all mixed in so let's go ahead and start our first print we'll click on the print button here on the test file and we'll have the rook we'll click start and there it goes so it is going to go through some procedures here it is quite smart, which knows how much resin's in here somehow. And also it does have a special mechanical sensor that can detect if something's out of order or let's say you got something in the tub in there. So yeah, these newer printers are quite advanced. So we're going in slow. You guys probably can't see very well from that angle, but they're going there in the resin. And so now it's saying out of leveling. And we kind of missed that and we have the first layer going and we can see a little picture here of what the layer looks like all right so that's our first one now let's go into the second one so the first exposures are quite long so on the screen here we can see it says print then our layer picture there it is a .goo file we got the temperature there which i'm wondering if that's the resin temperature no that's probably not because that would be probably too hot but in any case there's a temperature gauge there and it does fluctuate quite a bit the uv lights come on it goes up quite a lot and then it drops when they turn off so on the top there we have a counter that's saying how much longer we got and then on the bottom there we can see four layers down out of 1000 and how much time passed since we started which is two minutes and 50 seconds then we have a percentage number with one percent and a bar that's green that fills up on the bottom here and on the very bottom we have settings pause and stop so pause will naturally pause it stop will cancel the print and then settings we can adjust more things here so we're going to have five layers of 35 seconds bottom exposure and we can change that also and then after the five layers we got normal exposure at two and a half seconds and here we can also control the light delay so yeah pretty basic but everything you need and you can change this on the fly while you're printing so i'm a little worried that the first five layers are going to be probably sticking too well but we'll see as this is a test print but yeah the screen is very nice it's very responsive and we have all the information we need here on the front of it the font is a little small in the numbers but pretty readable so let's go ahead and close the lid and we do have a little indention here for the lid to sit and it does seal pretty nicely and that should help uv light stay out from our resin and also kind of try to keep the smells in too now if you do want to control your emissions better you can obviously connect a pipe or a hose in the back where you can ventilate it out or you can get some carbon neutralizers that will kind of help reduce the smells but again you want to use this thing somewhere where there's lots of ventilation So we're printing away, everything is good. Uh, you guys can kind of maybe hear the printer, it's not loud at all. It has like a fan sound and that's about it. And we are on layer 132 out of 1000. So yeah, moving along. But let's go ahead, open the lid. And what I wanna do is pause it to see if we are stuck on the bottom of the plate, but that's a good way to check. So let's go ahead and click pause. So it's saying, do you wanna stop this? <laughs> Confirm, so it should be pausing. And there it goes, it's going up. And sure enough, we can see our print under there is stuck. It's a little dark, but yeah, you guys can see it's under there and everything looks good. The Rook is holding on just fine. So we can go ahead and push play and it's just gonna continue printing. So yeah, if you wanna check, make sure you're sticking before you print too much, go about 50, 100 layers or we got 150 now and you can see how it's stuck on there but with the new plates that elegoo has been producing with the etch finish they seem all to stick very well so we'll let this thing continue and finish the print
All right, so our first print is done and it took three hours and 14 minutes, which is a little longer than I expected, but no big deal. That's the file that was provided. Let's go ahead and open it up and we can see our model there. Now for the next part, I got some water here. I got a pan or a sheet that we can work on. Glove, a metal scraper and a plastic scraper. And the plastic one is for the inside of the tub to check, make sure nothing's in there. And the metal one we're gonna use to scrape the model off the bill plate. And I also got this little brush and this is for the cleaning, it's optional. But yeah, make sure you wear your protective gear. So I'm just gonna use one glove now. And so because this is water washable resin, we can just use regular water instead of alcohol, which is a lot more smellier. So this is why I like washable resin as it's more friendly. So let's go ahead. So the good part is, is that none of this ever gets resin on it, just the bottom part. And when we do pull this out, keep it pretty level and then tilt it. When we get to the sheet as we're gonna have some runoff. So yeah, you guys can see it's stuck pretty well. Let's go ahead and see if we can take this off. All right, well, that wasn't that bad. Actually popped off pretty cleanly and everything looks good. So now we can pick this plate up and put it back since we are gonna continue printing. And now we can grab the model, which actually looks pretty good. And we're gonna dip it in the water and you guys will see how it starts to shed. Hopefully you can see that, but yeah, so. Water washable resin is really cool. And the reason I have this brush is because I do like to brush the details, but you gotta be really light with it. And you gotta have a really soft brush. So anything that has letters on it or really sharp details, I found that going over with it really helps bring the details out. And if you really are gonna be doing this regularly, you probably wanna get a wash and cure station where this can get washed with like twirling water and stuff and also it could cure but i do recommend curing this and not a direct uv rays like sunlight so just normal lit room cures nicely and cleanly and when you're done printing let's say you're not going to print for a week or more or a few days you want to make sure you clean everything up now if you think you're going to print within a day or two then you can just leave this lid closed and leave the resin in the tub if you want so it's kind of on standby just make sure you're not anywhere where it's too sunny or direct sunlight and also you might want to stir up the resin in there as it does start to separate over time and you want to agitate it before you print but if you're going to be done you know you want to clean off your bill plate which i did already with the last models and then you wanna save your extra resin by pouring it back and you do wanna use a filter. We don't know what's in there. There could be some contamination. You don't wanna contaminate your good resin. And we're just gonna pour the extras back into our bottle. So probably using a funnel or something would be easier, but yeah, this works too. Just gotta to be a little more careful with it. So depending on how much patience you got, we'll get as much out as we can. And then once we're done, we can go ahead and clean this thing out. So it's got a very thin layer in there. We do have a tank clean option where the UV lights can solidify that, but I do not recommend doing that. And if you are gonna do that, make sure you have a pretty decent amount of resin in your tub because if it's too thin, it'll be very hard to get it off. But yeah, and that's how you save your resin. And we'll have some left for next time.